How do you define Sierra? Um, I don't know, can I start over? <laughs> Sierra is... Um. <clears throat> Sierra. Oh wait, and, uh, wait, you paused it. <laughs> Sorry. He started over. This is the first day of my life. He started over? I swear I was born right in the doorway. I went out in the rain, suddenly everything changed. Define Sierra. Um. That's a big question. <laughs> Wait, isn't that like a mountain range? How do I define Sierra? I don't know where I am, I don't know where I've been. Sierra to me is a residence hall. I don't know how to answer that right now. <laughs> Can I come back to it? You said this would take two minutes. This is gonna take like five hours for me to come up with. <laughs> look at my hands. Now look back at your man. Look back at my hands. Now they're diamonds. Okay, what was the question? I think there are as many definitions as there are people who've gone through Sierra. I think Sierra is a community and a diverse society required for a unique class. Uh, it provides a unique opportunity, you know, that challenges people to think beyond our current boundaries. Diversity. I think Sierra is undefined. Sierra, I would say change. That's a, that's a big word to define Sierra, because it's a lot different from what you're used to. Basically, if just family is what it translates to. It's like a huge family, basically. Family. Family, friends. They're not just friends to me anymore, but they're more of like family. The type of family that you didn't expect to have. If anything, it'd be like, it's just like what a family needs. Where love is like overflowing. I think Sierra is like um, another place I call home. I feel like the definition varies from year to year. I feel like there is no real definition. I feel like it's, it's what, it's the interactions between the people in the hall. You get to know each different mind, like you can still find similarities and that's what like brings us together. An interconnectedness that is just undeniable. It's like a home, it's like when I went home I felt like I wanted to go back to Sierra because I felt like Sierra is my home now. A community where everyone knows each other. It's a community where everyone is comfortable and feels safe to express who they really are without feeling like they're going to be judged. It's a society where people are just trying to work together to to make everyone's life better. In college, we were all expected to to learn what we learned in Sierra over the course of four years through different experiences. But um, we're kind of lucky with Sierra because we're kind of babied through learning those experiences, and that there's like a structure to it. Sierra is like a microcosm of what the world could be if it wanted to. I define Sierra as a community. Uh, as people that could come from different backgrounds and different opinions and uh, still at the end of the day uh, be able to live with each other under one roof. It's something really beautiful. It also challenges me to think of like my identity and my beliefs. Talking about things that we don't normally talk about with other people. It's hard to say because to a lot of people I think Sierra is the building but I feel that like what Sierra is and what everyone's gonna miss is the people that you're surrounded by. Because year after year, you know, people come here and you know when the alumni come back, they look around and, and it's the same building and everything else is the same. The only thing that's different is the people are different. <sighs> Frick memories. My fondest memories living in the hall would probably have to be Simsock. Simsock? Simsock was pretty fun. Like Simsock when we all went to like live in the cabins and that game. Simsock, the first night, that's when I really got to know a lot of people. I loved uh, at the end of the night when we were all just hanging out like in the bunk areas. Like that was the first time I got to know everybody and like forever that Simsock will be like my most memorable weekend I think. I can't think of anything on the spot. <laughs> I was gonna say party but I shouldn't say that. The first time I got drunk. Yeah, I was, I was kind of kidding when I said that, but I think that might be it. Waking up in funny places. Late night talks. 
um, like that go on until the sun goes up. Right before winter break, and the people that were still in the hall, like we would stay up playing mahjong and games. Like the Christmas lights hanging, and like everything was off, and we were all really super loud when people were trying to study. Seeing everyone come into the hall and uh, actually putting based to all the names I saw on the list. Seeing everyone's creativity and how different each of those were um, and how important each of them was. Seeing everybody grow into who they are today has been the best like memory overall. A moment when I realized one particular person kind of has like changed so much from when they first moved in and it's different for everyone but um, I think when it happens it's kind of like a click and you kind of see like wow you know they've come a long way. All the kind of like the not insider jokes, but like the reoccurring jokes that we kind of all know about and how we talk about it. It was after the fashion show, and there was a lot of people in the living room, and we were just watching this basketball game, and it's just like I felt like at home when I'm with my family, and we're just all having a good time, and everybody's just relaxed, and they don't have to worry about anything, but just living in the moment. Even though I'm not like participating sometimes, I just enjoy like being in the environment where everyone's having fun. Definitely the Thanksgiving dinner is one of the best times because everyone was together. Like everyone. Like every moment is really special. Every moment, like I always remember. And I gotta say it was pretty funny seeing people being disgusted by the fried chicken. <laughs> it's pretty much just everything in Sierra has built up into one huge memory of everything. The most important thing I'll take away is how much I've grown as a person for the better. Well, for sure, Sierra taught me to be more like open-minded. Like, don't judge someone like based off uh, like what you might have heard about them or based off their beliefs. Just sort of accept people for who they are. Everyone has a story to tell. They just need someone to be there and listen. I just feel like I'm like peeling away at an onion or something. Like, still getting to know people. Even though it's like already spring quarter, like I feel like there's still so much more to know about all these people living here. You see like Sierra as like the whole piece and then everyone has like contributes like different small parts of it. Basically providing the framework for who I want to be. I think it's helped me learn that the world is like an ecosystem. So if one part of that ecosystem isn't there or if it crumbles, then the rest of that entire community crumbles. And as much as we like to think that we don't matter or that we're not making a difference, if one of us wasn't here, then this entire hall would be completely different. Doubt is the most dangerous thing, so that when we start doubting ourselves or each other, um, we, we kill opportunity. There's always going to be conflict in community, and the only way to experiment with it is to work through it. Everyone has different ways of interacting. You just have to adapt to it. I feel like Sierra, as just as a whole and also as a class, has really empowered me to be more confident in myself. I've totally changed. I can say that at least. Definitely, uh, I will take away like a sense of who I am. Never underestimate the impact that you can have. Um, you know, with, with what you say or what you do, you know, whatever it may be. Uh, to always feel that you know you can make the change, you know, if you want to. Don't be afraid to make change, even if it starts with something small. I feel like I'm a better person for doing it. I guess I just learned to be like a better person overall. Like believing in yourself overall, yeah. knowing you can make it through because you have so many people here with you. Not taking the people around you for granted because they won't always be with you. Uh, you haven't really cried in front of a lot of people. I usually don't, but I feel like you will definitely see me crying on the about day. It's a bittersweet goodbye to this hall. I feel lucky to be have been a part of this. I really love Sierra. I love you! I love you. That's all. I love you. I don't know, I'm gonna miss this place. I'm gonna miss Sierra. I'm gonna miss this hall. I'm really gonna miss living here. I will miss this place. And I'm glad, I'm definitely glad that it was part of my